My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can attach multiple files to an Outlook mail message in UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. We will attach multiple files to a send Outlook mail message, for example, these four files in this folder. And what we will do when we attach files is that we will first we'll find a send Outlook mail message. Then we will fill in the two, subject and body, and then we can attach files here. However, we uh, won't uh, create arguments uh, for each one of our files. So uh, let's uh, cancel this. And instead of this um, attach files manually, we can just do it uh, dynamically so that we can specify that we want all files from, for example, this folder to be attached. Let's see how that is done. So let me uh, go one step back and get the path of the folder. So shift, right click, shift, right click, and then copy as path. Go back to UI path and then go down to variables. We will create a variable called str path that will uh, contains our uh, path of uh, the files. Select this. Yours will look differently if you are not named Anders Jensen. Um, and then we will um, have our tool. We can create a variable for that tool. So two, str2. And that could be uh, RPA test, clone SDK. Don't send the mail to this mail. That's mine. And uh, you can just say, send it to yours. Then we can go up here to Outlook main message and we can fill in at least a two, str2. The subject that could be how to send multiple attachments. And our body could be something like kind regards, maybe. Kind regards, like this. And uh, we can attach a collection. So up here you can see that we can attach a list. So let's create a list with um, all the file names, uh, so the path and the file names of the files in this folder. And then we can just attach it here. So how th that is done, we can create a variable here. We can call that a list. So that's our list we want to attach with the file names. And the variable type, that'll be a list of strings. So click the drop down here, browse for types. Let me drag this guy down. So search for list. And then you will have the list uh, T here under system collections generic under M score 4 point something. So choose that one and go up here in this drop down and take string. Then click OK. So now we created this. Then we uh, need to assign uh, the list up here in the sequence. So find an assign. Drag in the assign. And what we'll do is that we we'll say list. That's the name we created down here. And that one will be a new list of string. So new list of uh, string like this. So now that's done. Then we will have a for each. So uh, and let me have a for each here. And so this one will be the for each um, file name in this folder. So uh, this one we can just say file. And then we will use the .add command to get the files. So that'll be, oh, sorry, directory. And then we'll have the dot get files like this. And then parentheses, and we can even see that it asks us to fill in the path. And we created the path down here in the variables. So we can just say str path like this. And then you'll need to change the type argument over here to a string like this. So now this one uh, will loop through all files here and it will do nothing. So let's delete this body. And we can um, add these uh, each of these files to our list. So uh, let's do that. And uh, we'll find a add to collection. Drag this guy in here. And so the collection, that's just our list. So fill in list. Like this, our item is just this file. So that's each of the files that we find here in, in this path. So file, and finally the type, type argument, that's a string like this. So now we uh, did everything and we can go down to send, send Outlook mail message and specify our list. 
So now we're ready to go. Let's uh, repeat what we actually did here. We created a path, created a two, created a list as variables. And then we are assigned our list here. Then we loop through each of the files, um, the file path and its names here. And then we added it to our list of strings. And then we attached it, that list to our Outlook made message. Let's verify that it actually work. So we run the file. UiPath uh, runs now and we can uh, open Outlook to verify that we indeed send a uh, mail message with all uh, attachments included. By the way, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And we can see here that we actually received a mail with the subject, the body and the four files. So mission accomplished. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. With that said, have a very good day. Bye bye.